the tea everybody hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm elena Привет. i'm your russian american makeup and beauty addict i usually do reviews and tutorials of affordable and expensive makeup but today is friday and that means friday is a, a drag this is the 11th episode of my series based on RuPaul Drag Race season 13 and this is episode 11 and this is Tina Burner look, her classic uh, pin-up 50s housewife look. She was eliminated, uh, yes, coiler alert, too late. <laughs> but I'm doing this look and orange, red, yellow and if you guys are interested then keep on watching don't forget to subscribe and the notification bell so youtube notifies you of every new video upload i upload three times a week on mondays wednesdays and fridays and also go live every monday uh, please follow me instagram to later the links are down in the description box as well as my patreon group so let's get right into this video <music> All right, just before we get into it, uh, Tina Burner lip synced against Utica at the end of episode 11, and they did the beast look, you know, the beast, kind of their own beast. And some of them came across great, some came across not so great. Uh, I think Utica was interesting, like they said, they've seen it before, but the makeup was really interesting. And to be honest, I thought she was going to get eliminated. I was thinking, like, she's going home. And then Tina Burner went home, like, oh, really? Wow. But <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing this look. She looked like a plush toy, some kind of torn up teddy bear that somebody sewed back in together. <laughs> it looks so bad. I don't know, maybe it was a kind of cool concept, but the eye look, holy cow, girl, that was busted the house. So I decided to go with her classic look, uh, kind of in between, something mixed in between her uh, entrance look, but I don't have the outfit and the wig, so like a pin-up 50s housewife, you know, that kind of vibe and her regular makeup, not the plush toy. So <laughs> that's just the explanation why I went with it. And I bet you guys appreciate it because if I did her plush toy look, it would take me five minutes. A couple of busted eyelashes out of place and a little busted lipstick and you were done pretty much. That's it. <laughs> but this is going to be more interesting. So what do you guys think? Let me a comment below. What do you guys think about the elimination? Did you want Utica to go home rather? I kind of think... I'm on the fence. They're both about the same place in competition, I think. Uh, I thought Utica was doing worse competition-wise, so maybe they're the same. I don't know. Anyway, I think my top is anyway the gut pick that, and uh, Simone. I think those two are my top. And I like Olivia Lux, but I think gut pick and Simone are going to be at the running for the top. And I think most people agree. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the tutorial. So let's start with this makeup. Uh, so first things first, I already blocked my eyebrows. And if you don't know me, I have almost no eyebrows, so I shave the rest off. And all I have is an old eyebrow tattoo, which I cover with concealer. So that's what I'm working with. So I'm going to start with my usual <laughs> go-to, the Cheap Forever Foundation. Very good foundation, actually, guys. If you want something inexpensive and something that actually looks really nice on the skin, this is it. But for drag looks, I'm going to try to go through it because I have way too many foundations. I'm mixing one of four and one of five. So, a little sponge. Face first, eyes later. Just like every other drag queen. Here's the thing with Tina Burner. She doesn't have a good tutorial on YouTube of her makeup and the only tutorial she did was that Tin Man and her makeup application was very sloppy. <laughs> Even uh, if you go under comments, Gutmix said what I was thinking and other people too. She applied the full face of foundation and then she applied silver paint over it. I'm like, why are you applying foundation first? Mm -hmm. I guess to even out complexion, but still, that's a lot of cake. I'm doing her... It's like a combination of classic Tina Burner look, like a red, yellow, orange, pretty much all of the colors I don't like. 
<laughs> I'm gonna be shading myself too because I'm not into that but that's the signature colors so I'm just gonna do the regular highlight the way everybody highlights because I don't have receipts of her makeup tutorial so I'm mixing a couple of concealers I'm mixing Evolution Conceal and Correct in white I'm mixing LA Girl for home white and I'm mixing a little bit of uh, GVS Place 21 just to give a uh, better texture and also I have clown white that's for the rest of my face I don't like clown white on my eyes because I was kind of like a little bit of trial you know in error and I didn't like it the texture so I'm just gonna use small sponge and do my under eyes first and then the rest I can add clown white So the highlighter concealer done, now we're going to contour. It looks like she was contouring not all the way down to the lip, but like about halfway through. That's what she said in her Tin Man uh, tutorial. So I'm using my regular Wet n Wild in the color 806. And I'm gonna go just from the ear down halfway to my cheek. So when you guys do in drag for the first time, don't use too much contour. Miss and I went with life together and she did drag for the first time so I assume she watched some of my tutorials which she did but for some reason she applied so much contour <laughs> it was all over and then she was like Elena why did you let me do this well you're so fast by the time I realized she was, what she was doing it was too late oops sorry well now you're new queen and you're amazing miss so you did well all right, so the usual. Well, here's the thing. So usually drag queens trying to snatch their noses. Tina Burner is trying to make her nose look like a sausage. <laughs> it's a little bit of shade, but it's the deep. So her contour is not all that snatched. It's pretty much like two railroad lines <laughs> and a big thick chunk in the middle. So I'm just gonna go right with a stick because I don't think we need a brush for this kind of thing. So this is how white her nose contour is, almost, I mean. So next step, I'm setting my face with a mixture of air spun. You can see what it is, anyway. And a little bit of clown white from Mayron setting powder. Uh, actually, it's not clown white, it's called ultra white. white. But I found the same thing. Under eyes, if I just go with this, it kind of gives you like a broken up texture. So I'll go with the translucent and then over was white. It seems like it works better that way. So all the light areas I'm gonna set with this mixture and the rest of the face, I'm just gonna use a regular air spot. So I did a little something here. So I'm going to insert the tutorial, the card here for the silver tin man. Uh, but she didn't do any tutorials, like I said, for this look. But you can see the difference between her Instagram photos, which I'm gonna insert here, the inspirations one and two. There are a couple of looks, the entrance looks, but they're not close up, so I have, can't really see. So a couple of inspiration pictures here. And here are the pictures from a show, how she showed up somewhere here. Do you see the difference? In the show, she had literally two black eyes, and her makeup skills improved a lot since she's been in the show. You can tell. Now she does less cut grease, and the eyebrows are not two blocks anymore. But on the show, it was like two bars and two black eyes. Dana, I know you're a comedy queen, but girl, you can do better. All right, so let's do the better look from Instagram. So I'm going to use the medium blending brush. And this is box of charm. I'm not even sure what brand this is. It says Glamoury, Glamoury, whatever it is. And I'm gonna use my bright matte. I love using bright matte because it has all the mattes, all kind of colors of the rainbow. It's perfect. So I'm gonna go with all these reds: orange, hot wave, poppy, hot stuff, and a little head over heels. I'm going to add orange to every one of them. To make it more red rather than pink because as we know when you apply red on a light base like this pale it's gonna come up 
pink because white and red makes pink so you have to really add the orange so I'm gonna mix orange and red and my eyelids are greasing so her regular eyelid it's rounded like closer to the nose so it's kind of like more of like a surprise look here so it's very round not oval I would say so I'm gonna try to create this rounded look I'm using the same brush and I'm going straight to hot wave orange and blend in this with the orange remember if you cover up your eyebrows make sure pat don't blend that well because you're going to remove your eyebrows so just kind of press it on and then next yellow this palette blends amazingly even on the hoop base like I did just that concealer so using a Spectrum P11 brush, more soft and fluffy, you're going to Hello Sunshine, the yellow. It's the only bright yellow in the palette. I don't just don't feel like lifting the palette. Man. So now we're getting this orange, red, and yellow blend, and see how easy this blends. I'm telling you guys, every video I use this palette. I'm like, you need this beauty babe right matte palette. Everybody does. It's amazing. And then we're gonna add black, it's pretty much simple. So I'm gonna use um, Just Up 230 Black Pencil Brush and I'm gonna go to black. And Beauty by Black is really, real good, guys, real good. So here, gonna go on the angle. So pretty much, usually Tina Burton has black eye, pretty much, usually. And I didn't say that. I think, uh, Michelle Desarge said it too. So that was the tea, not the shade actually. It's a little bit of shade, but it's all tea. Anyway, so first it's gonna look a little crazy because it's not gonna be very even and then we're going to blend it. The key with black, not to overdo it, because we still wanna see all the reds here in this look. So I'm going to take more of a smudgy brush, Spectrum A28, and I'm going to go into red, a deeper red, a couple of these on the end, and blend the black out. So we're going to add a little black and a little lash line. I'm using a smaller brush that just up detail shader 237, I'm going into black. I think she likes to do this half black eye look, like a half black and half white on the other side. So I'm gonna follow that and blend the black and the red and the orange, pretty much the same kind of thing. And I'm gonna leave this open to add some white. So I cleaned up uh, this area for the cut crease with the, uh, with the micellar water and q-tip I'm going with the P. Louise base it's the room is 0 0.5 and the reason I'm doing this because I like my base to be uh, foolproof I don't want my base to be greasy whenever I use white eyeshadow or white glam white or something it always comes out too greasy and the base like P. Louise base or Makeup Revolution they always look better I'm going to set this with uh, just a brush, just a flat brush and I'm using not a Beauty Bay palette because my favorite white and Miss I noticed that too is from the Mitchell Head in the Clouds this white is amazeballs and like Miss I says this white is the tits and I agree Miss I, this white is the tits Okay, so now that I set the crease and we're gonna do some liner. So Tina Burner doesn't do the full eyelid eyeliner now. Not before, before it was all black, as I said. <laughs> now that there is actual an eyeliner. So I'm gonna use this uh, from BoxyCharm, I got Tarte Eyeliner, just a regular felt tip. So we're gonna do like a quite thick on the outside and going thinner on the inside. And then the eyelashes are gonna be everywhere. Blend the edge with a black eyeshadow just to make it a little more controlled here and a little more blended. 
Now Tina Burner puts a white line in the inner half of the lash line. And I think she just uses liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna use this NYX Epic Wear White Liner. I don't like it that much. It's very glue-like, but it's the one that I have, and that's the one I'm gonna use. Okay, and now it's time to redecide what I'm gonna do with my eyebrows. So most of the time on the show, she did those straight kind of blocky eyebrows, but an in Instagram picture, she's been doing more of a you know arched brow. So I want to go somewhere in between, but more of like a show look. So this is more of a straight. It's just a little bit pointed down. Otherwise, I'm going to have a still surprise look. So I'm going to use this uh, angled brush. And I'm going to go just through the reds and the oranges, like the same colors here. And we're going to draw ourselves a brow. I'm still not very happy with this brow for some reason. But when I put my contour in and the lashes, this might change the whole outlook. So I think I'm already effing it up. But we can always clean up later with a little bit of concealer, so that's not a problem. So I put some low lashes and upper lashes on. The low lashes are just halves, you know, just for outer corner. And the upper lashes, my usual three stack pairs. And I'm getting a little more thinner burn. So what I did off camera is remove some of the black in the inner corner. That was setting me off. That was completely wrong for the inner burner. So now I'm going to do some contour. It doesn't look like she bronzes or contours a lot. It seems like it's very subtle. So I'm just going to use my NYX contour palette. And I'll just use like a lighter contour color here. This one. And then I'm going to add some red as a blush because... You know, red. Everything has to be red with Tina Burn. So I'm filming this, and my husband is flying earlier. He got up at 4 a.m., and the cat followed him everywhere. And then he left. My husband left. So the cat eventually came back to bed. So I was wondering what happened to a cat today. Why is he so sleepy during the day? It's because he was up with my husband. And I was wondering, what's, what's wrong with my cat? Why is he so sleepy? Is he sick? He was just zonked out the whole day because he was up all night. Well, all night, most of the night. So now I made a little bit of blush and I'm using the orange and the red. Very sparingly because these colors are very bright. So Tina's nose contour, like I mentioned before, is not the most matched. So I'm just going to use some brown contour shades with the same brush that I used for the eyeshadow. It has a little orange in it, so it's going to warm it up. Looks like a lot of the times it's very warm contour to go with the makeup. And I'm going to shade the nose a little bit too, because she kind of like goes all over the nose. So I put a little white in the middle of the nose to make that white stripe, a little thicker stripe, not the usual thin one. And now I'm going to do the mouth. The mouth is very full, very rounded, so I'm going to use Morphe pencil, just the brown pencil, and I'm going to fill in with a liquid red lipstick. And some of my friends love red, so that's going to make Teresa very happy. So I'm using the Red Perfusion Lipstick, that's Halloween edition. And I'm gonna fill the lips very, very full and rounded. Okay, I think it's time for me to snatch the wig cap on and put the only red wig I have, which doesn't look anything like her wigs. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what I can create because I'm a crafty queen, so. Here's the reveal, a little bit close up. You don't want to look too close as usual. I put a little bit of bandana-ish style, kind of a 50s housewife, so 50s pin-up. Because the wig is so bad, I couldn't do anything else with it. <laughs> and that's an old Halloween costume. I'm gonna zoom me out so you can see the full travesty of this. Yeah, so that's what we got. A little yellow, a little red, a little orange. We got Tina Burner. So what do you think? It's a Tina Burn-esque, of course. You're not gonna look just like her, but that's the general style. And I'm glad I decided not to look like a furry bear or something.
Yeah, I, I didn't have to wear any eye contacts, of course, because Tina Burner uh, barely ever wears contacts, I think. So brown eyes did this time, did justice. I still got lipstick on my hands, excuse me. So what do you guys think? Uh, and what do you think about the elimination and the episodes? Do you think there was a fair elimination? So this is my look. Uh, I love Tina Burner idea of the whole Tina Burner in New York because I'm a New Yorker at heart, although I'm not in New York anymore, but New York is going to be my hometown forever and I enjoy doing this. So let me know what you think in the comments below as usual and leave me a comment. I like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and also go live every Monday. And I also have a Patreon group. My Patreon li link is down in the description box. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for all my patrons. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.